In this video, we are going to discuss one year strategic plan for NEET PG entrance examination. I am Dr. Shomin Manna, your physiology teacher. Now before starting this video, I want to make sure one point that there is no universal strategic plan for 100% surety that you are going to crack the exam with a good rank. But the plan that we are going to discuss here is a general plan which is suitable for most of the students to secure a good rank. We are dividing the total 19 subject into three categories. So first basic six subject. All of you know that anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, pharmacology and microbiology. These six subjects are the basics for your MBBS life. Next category is small eight subject. I put forensic medicine, ophthalmology, ENT, psychiatry, radiology, anesthesiology, dermatology and orthopedics. So these divisions are purely based on the volume of the subject and the importance of the subject in your exam preparation. Third category of subject is the big five subject category. The PSM subject, the medicine, surgery, OBG and pediatric. And I'm not going to discuss whether it is neat or next in this video. So assuming that you are starting your preparation in the month of April or May 2023. So what is the total time duration you are getting? You are getting only 11 months or 330 days. So we are dividing this total 11 month period into 8 month for preparation time and 3 month for absolutely revision time. That without revision at least three times revision is required for each and every subject at least the important subject to secure a good rank let's see how we are going to utilize this preparation time and revision time that whenever you are preparing during this whole eight month please stick to only one source of video lecture some teacher may give you some extra volume in some subject some teacher may give you a less volume in a different subject believe one teacher during your preparation it may be a little less but that does not matter whatever you are reading you have to revise that thing that is the most important and here you can believe the prep letter platform you are sticking to one video lecture and whenever you are looking at the video lecture and whenever you are reading it may be very very tiring you know uh, listening the video for 8 to 10 hours per day can be a toll on your health also okay so you need a little creative strategy to tackle this issue so what is this creative strategy to utilize this time whenever you are reading whenever you are watching the videos right you may watch the video with a speed of 1.5x or maybe 1.8x don't go for making comprehensive note that much of time you don't have whenever you are doing your PG entrance preparation. If you are in MBBS life, if you are in first year, if you are in second year, then you have enough time to make your own note. Secondly, only watch the difficult videos, important videos and conceptual videos and the videos which are high aid. You have to be a little bit more selective. If some topics you are understanding easily from the note, you may not have to go back to the video. How to utilize the seven days? some student that one day you have to keep for revising the subject whatever you have read in the previous six days and that day you also have to do some mcqs secondly some student also prefer that he or she will read one subject for three days and another subject for three days but always keep sunday for revision plus doing some mcqs and third way some student also prefer to read six new subject in six days of a week and the seventh day for revision and mcqs you have to keep in mind that along with first reading you have to revise the subject simultaneously how we are going to divide this whole eight month time what subject i should start first okay so again there is no consensus first you start from your basic subjects first six basic subject you have to read completely within three months that is, we are assuming that you have started your preparation in the month of April. So April, May and in the month of June, within this three month period, you have to finish up all the basic six subjects. How many days you can take for each subject? So anatomy for 15 days, physiology for 15 days, biochemistry is around 12 days, pathology a little bit more, so 18 days, again pharmacology and microbiology in 15 days. Uh, next eight subject, that is the small eight subject. 
and you have to finish this small eight subject within 64 days and after finishing this small eight subject now you move on to the big five subject you are taking the month of september october and november and how to divide the days according to their volume so medicine in and around you may take 22 days to cover up surgery same time duration that is the 22 days pediatrics you may little less time 15 days psm also 15 days and obg 18 days so if you take this much of days so you will be able to finish up all these big subject within the month of september october and november what sort of the reading pattern during this eight month okay i told you repeatedly that sunday for revision and sunday for solving mcq whenever you are solving mcq don't solve more than 50 to 100 mcqs per day whenever you are reading mcqs you have to read the explanation and you have to note down that what extra point you are getting from this explanation next thing is that from the mid of august onward you may start your mock test examination you know that giving this mock test giving this grand test they are also very very important in your exam preparation strategy next in between this preparation days you may take a break for one day maybe in a month to relax and unwind yourself talk with your friend talk with your relatives and you take a break maybe one day in a month not more than that so whenever you are starting your revision from the month of december how to revise the subject so let's see so you require less time and it is said that the less time means half of the time where uh, whatever you have taken uh, the time for first reading half of the time is required during revision so assuming that we are assuming that four to five days will be required for each of the basic six subject to revise two to three days is required for each small subject to revise and five to six days to revise for each big subject so with this time distribution let's see how to utilize the month of december so in the month of december you are going to revise the surgery and allied subject so these subjects are in similar categories so that you can correlate this subject with one another okay so whatever you have read in anatomy you look at whether the thing is similar in surgical anatomy or not so that way whenever you are revising the subject group the subject revise those subjects which are allied in nature like for example surgery and allied subject anatomy surgery obg ortho radio ent ortho anesthesia and dharma so the number of days for revision of each of this subject is also given so accordingly you have to utilize your month of december on sunday i told you again go for solving mcqs now here whenever you are solving the mcqs during your revision time go for the grand test so if you are giving a grand test on sunday how many mcqs you are going through you are going through 200 mcqs and you are reading the explanation of all these 200 mcqs so that is adequate and by the end of december you have solved four grand tests on every sunday as well as you have done the first revision of big nine subject so in the month of january 2024 you are going to give revise the subjects which are medicines and the allied subject revision so here we are going to revise pathology pharmacology medicine and i have given five days each to each of this subject pediatrics for three days and the physiology and biochemistry four days each now in the month of february so you are going to give revision to the remaining subjects so what they microbiology and psm you give five days to each of this and fmt and psychiatry you give two days to each of this subject so now by the mid of february your first revision of all subject is complete now in the next 15 days you are going to give the second revision when you are giving the second revision now you have lesser time you may not give second revision for all subject but choose only seven subject among the 19 subject which are very very difficult or which are most important for you during your preparation and you give revision to those subject only so this way use this 14 days from february to revise all this important subject or chosen seven subject during this 15 days now if you go this way you have given the second revision of the important subject by the end of february so you will be ready for exam in the month of march ready my point now whenever you are preparing few most important thing you have to keep in mind 
What are those? Do not just learn and mock up the things from your note. Try to understand. Try to take the concept because nowadays the questions are becoming difficult more and more. You have to understand the concept then and then only you will be able to answer the MCQs. Second, you are not required to read everything. Next is that please revise and solve MCQ on each Sunday. Repeatedly I told this point. This is one of the most important thing that you have to do, right? Next is whenever you are solving MCQs, try to read all of the options and try to look at how to eliminate the options. This is an art, you know, you have to know how to eliminate each and every option from the MCQ. So this way you have to make your preparation strategy. I wish you all the best. Happy learning and good luck. Thank you so much. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.